hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a really quick video it's just gonna be um, somebody left a comment down on my blush collection video because I made a comment about Nars's um, orgasm blush and Mac's peachy keen blush and I said that peachy keen from Mac was what I wished Nars's orgasm was and it's basically just um, between the pigmentation of the blushes it's um I love both blushes equally because you can do different things with both blushes but if I had to choose one blush it would probably be Max Peachy Keen just for the fact that on my skin tone the pigmentation shows up a lot more now Nars's orgasm I've seen on fair skin tones the color payoff is wonderful you can see the peachy pink color on their cheeks but for me personally all I get is the golden shade that comes through so if you're having the same problem, then Max Peachy Keen might be the answer for you. So it's not going to be a dupe video because these two blushes are not dupes of each other. It's just a alternative for darker people. If you like Nars' Orgasm, the color that's in the pan, and that color doesn't show up on your skin tone, like if you're too dark for that color to show up on your skin tone. And then I have one other blush, which is Wet n Wild's Pearlescent Pink, and that blush is like spot on like it has everything that Nars's orgasm does but it has way 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 more color payoff like it's even better than peachy king it's just a little bit more pinky than peach um so if you're looking for a blush that goes more pink or if you're looking for a blush that goes more peach i have both um both sides but it is I, both of these are very nice alternatives to Nars's orgasm if they don't show up on your skin tone so i'm just going to go ahead and get started so the first thing I'll do is just show you the NARS Orgasm blush. And if you haven't seen NARS Orgasm or NAR any of NARS's blushes, they come in this like very sleek black packaging. It says NARS on the front and then it gives you the name on the back. The blush looks like this. It's a very peachy pink kind of shade. And it has a ton of like golden shimmer running throughout this whole blush. And for me, that takes the forefront over the color when I apply it to my skin. So that's the shade and I'll swatch it on my skin. So that is Nars' Orgasm. Let me put enough because you're not going to be able to see this on my skin like it would look on other people's skin. That is Nars' Orgasm. As you can see it's just the golden sheen is what shows up on my skin. And a very tiny bit of that peachy pink shade actually shows up. And then the peachy keen is a sheer tone shimmer blush and it's from MAC. And this is, I believe, $21, and the Nars' Orgasm is $20, no, they're actually $30 at Sephora. So this is $21, almost $10 difference. It's a bit creamier and a bit more of, uh, like, easier to blend. So I'll just show you those side by side. So that's Nars' Orgasm, and then that's Max Peachy Keen. As you can see, the pigmentation on this one is way more heavier you can see some you can see more of the powder versus the shimmer in the blushes Nars is, I mean Max Peachy Keen does have that gold shimmer in it but it doesn't have as much as Nars's orgasm and I'll show you the blushes side by side so you can see like the color comparison so those are the blushes side by side they have the same kind of peachy pink shade to them um I don't know if you can see like the true color right there but they're pretty much similar this one is a little bit darker the Nars' Orgasm, but for the most part, they're the same kind of blush, the same tone, peachy pink blush. So again, those are them side by side. And then the other one that I want to show you is a pearlescent pink from Wet n Wild. This blush is like $3 at CVS, Walmart, I think Walgreens, anywhere that Wet n Wild is sold, they have this blush. And that is the color in the pan, and that is it compared to Nars' Orgasm. So, as you can see, like I said, the same kind of peachy pink vibe going on. And all these blushes have that gold shimmer running through them. So, this is Pearlescent Pink by both of the colors. And that is Pearlescent Pink. And as you can see, Pearlescent Pink is like the most saturated color out of the three. Um, it does have a bit of a reddish peachy pink undertone to it. But for the most part, they're the same colors. As you go across, the pigmentation just builds up and um, kind of the shimmer takes a back burner as you go up. So this still has gold shimmer in it, but not as much as Orgasm. 
this one has a little bit more than pearlescent pink but not as much as orgasm then orgasm is basically just that gold sheen on my skin tone so you if you're having a problem with wearing Nars's orgasm then these two other blushes are a very nice alternative um Nars, Nars orgasm is great to layer over a blush for me or to use as a highlight on like my cheekbones when I'm wearing like a pink or a peach blush but for just to wear it on its own, I would look like a glitter bomb. It would be just nothing but shimmer. So if you're having the same problem, I hope this video helped you out. And I hope um, I, I hope one of these blushes can help you out as well. Because I know for me, I was like, I love the color in this, you know, in the pan of Nars' Orgasm. But it just would not show up on my skin tone no matter how much blush I put on. No matter how much I packed it on and layered it. It just wouldn't come out to this color in the pan. So... Um, I, you know, did some research and looked around and I actually found two other blushes that are fairly priced. Um, one is a little bit closer to, um, the price of Nars' blushes and then one is very, very cheap and they kind of give the same effect. So, if you have the same problem, I hope this video helps you out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!